Hey guys, Mad Flavor. Yes, the epic return of Mad Flavor. Because once again, like a phoenix, I rise from the flames, from the ashes. Do you? LTA Movie Club. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, on with the review. On with the review. What the? What? Where did that deep voice come from? Like, should I just talk like this the entire time? No, I'm not going to. No, that's going to kill my throat. Anyway, Food Inc. Um, yeah. Hmm. Those poor little cows, why? <laughs> the poor cows. The... Okay, that was obviously fake. Nah. Yeah. I'm just gonna say this right now. Giant propaganda film. It's a giant propaganda film. For all those propagandaites. They don't like eating food. And just want all the ponies and all the rainbows. And just want all the little animals to roam around. Yeah, people, that's not the way the world works. Yes, we already knew that the food industry was sick and disgusting. They're mass producing animals to die. How did you not know this? Seriously, if you need a freaking documentary to tell you that they're mass producing animals to be killed for food, that's kind of. Stupid on your part. Yeah. If you didn't need a doc, if you need a documentary to tell you that how the way they treat some of these animals, that's also kind of messed up. Like, how stupid are you to need this? Really? Uh, whoever suggested this probably is trying to make us all like hate food or just want all sorts of things. They just want PETA to go all thing on the blah 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 or something like that. Oh my god. Uh. Also, they're blaming the food industry for making everyone fat. That also kind of pisses me off. Yeah, I know people can't afford it, and I'm sympathetic with those people, but really, really, uh. Also, another thing that pissed me off. Like, you know that farmer that happens to have all of his animals out on the range and all that thing? And they made them all to look like nice and pretty and all sorts of awesomeness. And then they took the chickens, put them upside down in a cone where they couldn't defend themselves, and then slit their throats. How is this guy a hero? How is this guy for- oh my god, like why? Oh god, this film, oh. It's giant propaganda, and it- oh god, no, no, no. No. That's not the way the world works. There's obviously going to be corruption. There's obviously going to be some problems. There's obviously going to be some things that we don't like. And yes, there could be a way we could do a better job. And yes, there could be a better way to get uh, bacon and all sorts of stuff. But then again, do you want to pay like 10 times more for your bacon? Like, really? I know that having immigrants come over here and do that for us and taking away jobs for people, that is bad. But when you think about it, it's not, I'd rather not have to think about that stuff and actually like cheap bacon. Oh god, I sound like a terrible person. Oh god. Uh, anyway, this movie was just kind of pissing me off. Uh, I'm coming about now because, well, it's not rubber. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this movie, giant propaganda film that only idiots need to learn about the food industry. <sighs> yeah. Food Inc. If you want to know where your food comes from, don't do it from here, because if you don't know, you're probably just going to be guilty as shit for it. I, on the other hand, live in a farm town, so I already know this. But obviously, I'm already going to be biased. So, yeah. Later.